What's up my beautiful boss babies? Today we're going to be playing in this wavy textured lace wig. Now it did not come in this color. We're going to be actually dyeing it this color. It's a very nice subtle chocolate brown. This one comes from Eon Hair. They sent over this gorgeous loose wave wig. It's Brazilian hair and it is so good. It's a 360 lace wig and we're going to just jump right into the tutorial as you guys love. So I'm going to start out by just brushing out the hair. You guys seen the gorgeous natural texture of it and when you brush it out with no product, it gets nice and fluffy. This is a 360 lace wig with three combs in the front, one in the back, adjustable straps. You get more than enough parting space and it is just nicely constructed, no complaints at all. Now you can see here it's slightly pre-plucked and you also have some gorgeous baby hair already ready for you. I'm going to start out by going ahead and cutting off the excess lace in the back of the head. Now you can cut off all the lace all the way around I'm cutting off the back that way it's easier to just get through while I'm bleaching and dying I find that that extra lace in the back is just always in the way when I'm styling my wigs and this is what we have here if you want to leave all of that lace especially if you're doing this for a client be my guest this is just my personal preference now we're going to be using the high color from L'Oreal I get these from Sally's and I picked it up um, a couple of days ago I believe they're like seven bucks a piece I'm using H5 which is soft auburn they had so many different brown colors now you guys know I've done the burgundies the reds the magentas in this but I've never done the brown so I'm super excited to play with it now you guys can see when you flip the cap inside out or upside down it basically will pop the lid on the dye or the bleach however you say it and when you see the solution it's a white color you're gonna mix it with the 30 volume developer as the box instructs it tells you exactly the measurements and I used a measurement cup a measurement cup a measuring cup to go ahead and measure and get the perfect amount I put two boxes with the equal amount of um, developer on the left side and then that third box is on the right side and I mix that up really really good to make sure that I have everything nice and ready to go so I went ahead and separated the hair into half I highly recommend that you separate the hair into fours to make this process much easier you're gonna see through the process that I am going to feel like I have dumped tons and tons and tons of dye onto the hair and there's still gonna be places that have no dye and that's because I'm doing this in large sections so if you can like kind of put the wig on your head even if it's loose and not you know ready to be bonded and just take some uh, rubber bands or some clips and just section the hair into like at least four Four different sections take it off you know with each section separated with like a, um, a clip or you know scrunchie or something like that that way when you go ahead and apply your bleach it's already sectioned off and it's easy to get all to all of the spaces here I am going ahead with the frontal section and I'm just going ahead and making these small parts to make sure that there are no black blotchy spots in my frontal you guys know I've been obsessed with the brown colors. I've been trying the developer, which was a success, but it gave me more of a honey brown, honey blonde color. I've been just wanting like a rich chocolate brown, and this is the closest I've come so far. Now, I'm honestly on a mission. Like, I want to try like every color in the L'Oreal highlights. I want to try every Wella toner. I want to try every Manic Panic and bring all that to you guys. Now, I did kind of a semi time lapse with my camera accidentally. I didn't know I was still filming. And you guys Guys, kind of see if you kind of rewind a little bit you can see the evolution of the hair with the dye as it processed I just left it um, on the counter while I did other things and this is the results now I did not bleach the knots you can definitely go in and do so I also added an elastic band off camera and this is where we are I went ahead and towel dried it and kind of let it dry for maybe about 15 uh, to 20 minutes while I did my makeup so that it was you know not dripping wet but still a nice you know wavy wet you know what I mean here is a shot of the back of the hair it kept its texture which I love and you know everything looks good the only thing it is missing is that I did not bleach the knots 
but you know I'm gonna go ahead and conceal that with a little bit of powder now off camera I went ahead and cut off all of the excess lace in the front and I also added a layer of the got to be glued spray and I sat the lace right on top of that got to be glued spray when I came back I went ahead and touched up areas that may have not had enough spray by spraying the spray on top of the lace and that basically will still bond the hair down if there are spaces that are still lifting now you can see it's pre-plucked I'm just gonna take a razor blade and I'm just gonna trim the hair down um, as short as I want I would say this is maybe about a quarter of an inch I'm getting more and more comfortable with cutting the baby hair shorter and shorter and also I'm gonna use foam lotion as my um, method of edge control and I just like the finish of this overall there's no stickiness there's no you know it's not bonded down it moves ever so lightly and of course my sideburns still are not sticking as I mentioned before I love the ghost bond I'm sorry the got to be glued spray to bond down my wigs but when it comes to the sideburn area I usually will take a dab of ghost bond and you know use that to force the hair to lay down just because it never ever 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 stays especially Especially when I don't shave my sideburns so the same razor I used to um, trim the baby hair is the same razor that I'll use to trim or shave my sideburns with a little bit of lotion or something shaving cream or something there I just take a comb I remember back in the day I could not for the life of me use a comb to make baby hair so I guess I've gotten enough practice that now I'm able to do it you just have to be more patient um, if you're trying this and it's not working be patient until you get it in the direction that you want. Sometimes you can kind of soup it and it's messy and then you go and style the hair while the hair kind of molds and come back in like 15 to 20 minutes once the hair is molded and it'll be easier to um, shape or continue to shape the baby hair. Okay, so this is the final result. I haven't added any extra product to it. Um, I deep conditioned it really good. Now I did like kind of do the comb over, not the comb over, I did like a... Um, a curved parting and all that and so you guys know when you style a wig and you start to style it naturally it starts to like dry and get a little bit frizzy if you're like moving it left and right so i did go ahead and add just a little bit of water just to re-wake up the curls i don't want to get the wig too wet because i want to um let it dry as much as possible so you guys can see the color um, in a more dry state but i do kind of want to give the wet appearance so I'm adding none other than my favorite product which is wet and this is one of my favorite products when it comes to curly hair um I don't hear a lot of people talk about this on YouTube so maybe I'm the only one who likes it but the ends definitely um, are starting to dry up only con um is that because I use the boxed dye um, I am finding that it is giving me a little bit more shedding which the box dye tells you I think it's like 30 minutes 25 minutes to um, process the hair and I left it on for an hour just because when I got to 30 minutes I was looking at it and I couldn't really tell if it was taking like you know when you use like bleach bleach you can see the color well I couldn't see the color really lifting or moving and I didn't want to do all that work just to have like regular hair and I'm not sure if it took more from leaving at 30 minutes more just because when I got to an hour it still didn't look like it was lifting but it got to the exact color I've been talking about you guys know I've been saying I just want a nice rich chocolate brown well I tried the 40 volume developer method I left that on for two hours and it gave me like more of a blondish brown kind of color I wanted like a chocolate brown that had no blonde or anything in it like just really natural really chocolate no golden tones no brassy tones no blondes um, no honey it's just brown and this dye did it I believe the color was auburn I'll have it linked down below let me show you guys what it looks like from the back Now with this one I feel like I did somewhat of a simple install. I really wasn't here for um, like plucking or choosing the hairline. I wanted it to be super subtle but I just didn't feel like I needed to like pluck or tweeze. Let me know what you think of her. All the details on this one is listed in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one.